A long time ago, in a faraway land, lived a race of giants. They lived side by side, quiet and peaceful, exactly like people nowadays. They were practical folks, and they knew how to use their heads. The giants also knew how to make use of nature's forces. Absolutely nothing changed until one day a certain baby giant came into their world. He was named Quark, and soon his Quark. name was on everyone's lips. Quark. Quark was a curious little fellow, already turning everything upside down. Quark showed a warm interest in nature. Everyone was happy in their little homes. Quark grew up fast, very fast. Quark's father was filled with pride at the thought of his son following in his own footsteps. Quark was a quick learner. Quark was a helpful little guy, and when someone asked him to fetch some meat, he fetched some meat.
Quark was soon considered grown up enough to be sent out into the big world. Everyone was sad to see him go. <laughs> It was summer in the small troll village and the male inhabitants were peacefully passing their time with philosophical conversation and highly intelligent games. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. They <coughs> didn't invite me. Listen, my boy, it's time for you to grow up and learn to behave like your father. <laughs> the warm summer days passed by, and everybody was preparing themselves for the winter. Hey, what's that white stuff? I don't know, it wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> My son, there comes a time in a man's life when he must face the dangers of nature and go out in the wilderness to gather his own food. And clothes, look at this. How am I supposed to survive the winter in this? Other husbands go out and catch a wolf or a bear. You never caught anything but a cold. But, but perhaps Quack could. But that boy's just as hopeless as his father. He just can't do anything right. Oh, what a nice surprise. Just lying there and letting your poor wife starve Freeze. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. That's my boy. Ooh. Okay, you thieves, the party's over. Give me that. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you! Give me my meat, you lazy bum! That's it, Sonny. Off you go. And don't forget the fur coat! Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, 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 you win. It's only my coach, you know. Oh. oh, thanks, bud. Who wants a wolf coat anyhow? Let me show you something bigger and suitable. A bear skin. I'll catch you a bear. We got to sneak through the woods and, you know, we'll find them. Click our fingers and we'll... <laughs> Hey! Hey! says he can't. Put us down for the boss to win at three to one. But the boss can't do it, eh? <laughs> I shouldn't have listened to you, Earl. What happened? What happened? 
Put your backs into it, lads! Come on! Coming off! <laughs> in history as the man who discovered America. That's what you think. The eyes full of greed and bloodlust. They wanted my gold badly. But I unsheathe my sword and I cut a path through this world of human flesh, dragging my golden chest behind me. Never, never, not for a second was I scared. Because I fear no one. <laughs> Let Odin drop something heavy on my head if I'm a liar. Who did that? Why, I'll tear you to pieces. Wait, wait, stop. We're all out of magic mushrooms. This is the only one left. What? Oh, no mushrooms. Okay, we'll spare your miserable life. Just go into Shywood Forest and get us a lot of magic mushrooms.
So, you're finally back, huh? So, you are proud of yourself, huh? They're the wrong mushrooms! Can't you do anything right? Let's try them anyway. <coughs> Happening to me. Look! Oh, I've never felt so strange in all my life! Oh, I feel weird. I feel terrible! Your money or your life? Now 
Now, listen. You hold this end of the rope and pull when I pull. Understand? Now, don't forget. Your money or your life? Remember to pull the rope like I told you. Your money or your life? Pull. Pull! This won't work. I hear something. Quiet! <sighs> it sounds like a horse and... Open wide, partner. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Now I'll show you how it's done. Pick him up. You can't fool me. At last, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> rich money, money. <laughs> Give me that money or I'll kill you! Can't you find it? What's keeping you?
turmoil has scorched its ugly marks across the kingdom of one very powerful king. A dragon is on the loose, but not many were willing to take the job as... <sighs> it's a dragon slayer. <laughs> so you're the dragon slayer, huh? Come right this way. Well, I guess it's a pure routine and job for you, huh? Nothing special, you see. We just had this terrible dragon, you know? Burning my tobacco fields and I scare my raviolis tomorrow. I no like this dragon, so I want to put a contract on him. You just stop with this dragon, and you can choose whatever reward you want. Oh, what do you think, huh? You self-centered little... You're the egotist, Harry. Is that so? Have you forgotten you burnt two dragon slayers last week? I don't remember. Oh, and by the way, you're smoking much too much, and your breath is rancid. Quite honestly, Harry, you're beginning to bore me. Enough. I've had enough. Quite so. <laughs> <laughs> This one's mine, Mary. Oh, but it's my turn! <laughs> Frisky little thing, isn't he happy? Help the way, Harry. Let a professional take over. <laughs> yourself charcoal lips I'll give you charcoal lips <laughs> okay when watch me <laughs> is that all your bad breath can amount to <laughs> I'll take care of the little twerp. <laughs> hey, we've got him here. Oh, my 
A brave dragon slayer. You make me a proud man again. You can now choose your reward. Uh, what do you think? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She was so sad because she was kept locked up in a tall tower. She was guarded by a pretty, ugly frog who would give back her freedom for the price of one kiss. Dear little green, ugly, slimy frog, please let me out! <laughs> oh no, not again. Come on, Babs, how's about that kiss now? Get lost! <laughs> Take that! And that! And that! Every night she was kept awake by the frog's intense snoring. She wondered constantly why nobody ever saved her. I wonder constantly why nobody ever saves me. Ooh, a shooting star. This must be my lucky night. I've had so much wrong, I can do nothing wrong, and I shall free the princess that I love, my little... We don't be sorry, cause it's true, yes, I'm the greatest, and I'll be with you soon, I'm the greatest, I shall rescue you. Fear not, my little princess. Me and my squire have come to save thee. Wow, a real knight. I don't have much to give, but my love, my looks, my soul. My heart shall be your temple, me amore. My heart sings looking at you, makes my hands tremble, me amore. And have my heart, my arms, my liver, and my spine. Me, I'm all in. My little hands are out my heart. What am I singing? Oh, yes, I'm here. Have you heard? night Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Climb up my hair, brave squire. Wow! <laughs> and every night that dreadful, horrible snoring. <laughs> I mean, all he wants to talk about is flies, flies, and more flies. Are you listening? Now, as I was telling you, frogs and flies, you get lonely. After all, I am a woman, you know. Thank you. 